Have you ever wondered which free text-to-speech software is the best? I'm sure you have, which is why you're watching this video. There are many other videos on this topic, but they all talk about the same websites where you have to pay a lot of money for voiceovers generated by AI. No one is talking about software you most likely have installed on your computer because it is free and they will not receive a commission if you use it. In this video, I'll show you four free, high-quality text-to-speech programs. You'll be pleasantly surprised at how good they are. This is YouTube Automation, the one and only channel you'll need to grow your YouTube channel faster than your competitors. Watch this video all the way to the end to find out what my secret free text-to-speech software is. The first one you've probably heard of is Google's text-to-speech technology. To get access to this software, type Google text-to-speech into your browser and click this link. As you can see, we can use this tool to convert text into natural-sounding speech using an API powered by Google's AI technologies. Let's go ahead and click the demo button on the left side of this website. It will take us to a section where we can enter our text and have it converted to speech. We have a choice of 13 different voices, and my favorite is the voice I. You can experiment with your voice's speed and pitch. You can record generated voice using Audacity, which is also free. I'll show you how at the end of this video. Because this text-to-speech software is so simple, we won't spend much time on it. Let's move on to more advanced software with better voices. Natural Readers is the next software I'd like to show you. You can add this text-to-speech extension to your browser, but we will not do so, and will instead use Online Reader. I mentioned this website in the previous episode, but I'll show you how to use it in this video. As you can see, we've already typed some text to put to the test with this text-to-speech software. We have a lot of different voices to choose from, but my favorite is the first one Matthew. Let's take a listen to how it sounds. If you are interested in using our voices for non-personal use such as for YouTube videos, e-learning. That sounds about right to me. To convert our text to MP3, we need to have a paid plan, but I'll show you how to do it for free at the end of this video. The limitation of this software is the limited number of voice customization options. You can only change the voice's type and speed. What are your thoughts? Is this toll sufficient for you? If not, let me take you to the next website, which has some amazing text-to-speech voices with even more high quality. Muff AI is the next piece of software I'd like to demonstrate to you. This is truly incredible and powerful text-to-speech software. Trust me, I've been using Muff for a lot of videos I've posted on YouTube on my other channels, and I was pleasantly surprised at first by how good this software is. As you can see on the home page, we can test some voices, but instead of wasting time, I'll go straight to the Muff Studio and show you how to use this tool. As you can see, I've already pasted some random articles in 13 text blocks to save you time. Because one text block can only contain 2000 letters, you must create more of them to accommodate your script and voiceover. As you can see, we have a wide range of voices to choose from, with Barry being my personal favorite. Let's give it a listen to see how it sounds. The first step to start saving money is to figure out how much you spend. That appears to be about right to me. We have a lot of options for making our favorite voice sound even better than it already does. If AI says some words incorrectly, we can change the pronunciation. Pitch, speed, volume, and emphasis can all be adjusted. Because of these options, you can create your own distinct voice, and no one will suspect that it was generated by artificial intelligence. To generate all of your sentences, click the green Build Audio button. To download your audio, you must use the paid version of Mafei, but at the end of this video, where I'll show you my favorite secret tool, I'll show you how to save audio from any text-to-speech website. As previously stated, Mafei is a very powerful tool, and you should definitely try it. Let me show you my favorite secret text-to-speech software that you most likely have installed on your computer right now. It's just Microsoft Edge. You may be perplexed right now, because everyone thinks Edge is just a pre-installed browser on your PC, but it contains a very powerful text-to-speech extension. This is referred to as Read Aloud. 
It has the ability to read everything you see on the website you are currently visiting. Before we can use Edge as our text-to-speech generator, we must first prepare our script so that this browser can read it correctly. I recommend creating PDF files with each sentence on its own line. Because Microsoft Edge uses long pauses between lines, it may sound strange if we have one sentence in two or more lines. I make my PDF files with Google Docs, but you can use any software you want, they all work the same. As you can see, I pasted a random article I found on the internet and put each sentence in its own line. If you can't fit your longer sentence on one line, simply reduce the font size. Allow me to convert my document to PDF and open it in Microsoft Edge right now. If you have your PDF open in Edge, you must click read aloud to hear how it sounds. You have a wide range of voices to choose from. There are several languages to choose from, and if that isn't enough, you can install more. The only downside to this program is that we can change the speed of our voice and nothing else. What if we want to record it? Let's say you want to overlay this on top of a video, or maybe you just want to save the text to listen to later. I'll show you one of my favorite audio recording and editing apps, Audacity, which is completely free to download and works on a variety of platforms. You can get it at audacityteam.org. I've been using Audacity for quite some time, and it's more than adequate for me in my work. Once you've finished downloading and installing Audacity, launch it. In this video, I'll simply show you how to record your system sound. To record your system sound with Audacity, go to the top left-hand corner and click on the drop-down menu that says Windows Wasapi. We need to select the microphone to the right of that. There could be a plethora of options available to you. Select the option that says speakers or headphones and loop back. This will capture the sound from your system. Once you've made those choices, we're ready to go. All that remains is for you to record your voiceover using one of the software programs I demonstrated today. Now that we've finished capturing all of our audio, we're ready to export it. Go to the top left-hand corner and click on the file menu right here, and you'll see the option to export as an MP3, a WAV, or a variety of other file formats. Select your preferred format and export your voiceover. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any experience with the text-to-speech software that I just showed you. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Fill in the blanks with what you want to know about YouTube automation and Cash Cow channels, and I'll make a video about it in the near future. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.